everyone. My name is Irene Nolte. I'm a health and life coach and EFT practitioner. And I'm making this little video um, as a consequence to the conference that took place a few weeks ago on sleep improvement organized by Renouveau and Democratie. And for those who were there, you might remember that uh, it was fraught with technical difficulties. And as a result, the video um, was just not in a, in a, in a good state to be, to be shared. So I decided to make a new video for you. It's a summary of what we saw during the conference, so it won't be an hour and a half long, also for practical reasons. Um, so I thought what I could do is I will share the key points in a handout for you to use, lifestyle recommendations, health and lifestyle recommendations based on Western and traditional Chinese medicine. And in this video, I will give the main points. Um, I will give you the main tapping technique with EFT, the emotional freedom technique. So you can tap it when you have difficulty sleeping in general, when you have problems falling asleep, and also if you wake between three and five in the morning. So insomnia generally falls in those two categories, difficulty to fall asleep and uh, waking between three and five. So for those of you who don't know me, um, I'm half German, half Romanian. I grew up in Brussels. I went to the European school. Uh, as so often is the custom, I went on to study international relations and international human rights law. And then quite early on had some kind of burnout crisis, um, which was really an invitation for me to reconsider questions of mental and physical health. And it was then during that time that I went on to study Shiatsu and traditional Chinese medicine and coaching and lots of other things. And so now I have my practice in Brussels and I work with these things. And burnout and sleeping problems are a big part of my work, helping people with that based on my own experience. So let me just give you a few facts and figures uh, around sleeping problems. So today, and this is from, from a World Health Organization document, 35% of elementary school children uh, have problems to fall asleep. So here we're talking children. Um, and 21% of this group have problems sleeping throughout the night. Um, I think sleeping, well, insomnia has reached epidemic levels throughout society and has considerably, contrib has considerably been contributed by the, the latest lockdown. And I think there's just been so much anxiety and stress around that. Um, of course, this has an impact on the quality of our sleep. Now, sleeping issues. So I come from a holistic perspective, right? Um, and to me, sleeping problems are really a signal that there's something else going on in your life. So that there is an aspect of yourself that you need to make greater peace with. Um, so we'll get to that a little bit later. But uh, yeah, this is just the position I come from. So sleeping problems obviously are a problem, but there's a signal that there's something else going on in your life that wants to be looked at and that needs to be processed. So what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll just plunge straight away into the EFT part here in the video. So let me just give you a brief um, summary of EFT. EFT stands for the Emotional Freedom Technique. Um, it's also co called tapping because we literally tap on acupuncture points on the body, in the face and in the upper body. And there have been numerous scientific studies, you can look them up, Harvard and co, um, that really checked on this tapping technique and it has been proven that tapping reduces cortisol levels decidedly. So um, cortisol obviously being the fear hormone um, cortisol and adrenaline, adrenaline being the two fear hormones. So as you tap, as you do these tapping sequences, it lowers your stress levels, it lowers your fear, which of course linked uh, to sleeping problems, as everyone knows who's had sleeping problems, is kind of like the key thing. You know, you just lie there worrying about the next day, you know, how you're going to pull through. And, uh, and it just becomes this vicious circle where, when you become more and more triggered and more and more associating sleep with struggle, right? Which is unbearable. I mean, I myself, I had many uh, phases of insomnia and it just comes to a point where you try to procrastinate, where you try to delay the moment where you actually go to bed because you're just dreading, you know, lying there and not sleeping. But it can be solved. So that's the great news. 
Okay, so I won't go more into the details of EFT. Um, you're also, if you can, you're also really welcome to my EFT get togethers. They're free of charge. They happen once a month and they explain more how it works and uh, I give introductions to that. So you can register via my website, irenanolte.com. Um, and there you can just know more about the technique. This is really just to help you plunge into the subject matter. And uh, I would suggest we just start straight away. So if you're suffering from insomnia, I would like you to just lean back for a moment. If you've been working, just take a breath or two, place both your feet on the ground, sit straight if you can, don't slouch and receive a few deep breaths all the way into the abdomen. If you want, you can close the eyes and just check in with yourself. Um, just check in with the question, how stressed do you feel about sleep right now? And in EFT, we always scale from a, from a scale from zero to 10. If 10 is very strong, uh, just check in with yourself and please place a number on the level of stress that you feel with regard to your sleeping problem. So maybe it's a six, maybe it's a seven, maybe it's a four, you know, just find the number. And the first thing we're going to address with EFT is this association between sleep and struggle, right? Between sleep and stress, which happens as soon as insomnia becomes chronic. Okay, so you've got your number. And now please find one of your hands, left hand, right hand, doesn't matter, little finger, the bone under the little finger, and then the fleshy part and just tap into that. With one finger, two fingers, three fingers, doesn't matter. And just repeat with me, please. So I will say the sentence and I'm inviting you to speak after me, yeah? So even though I feel stressed, and please repeat while tapping on the side of the hand, even though I feel stressed, when I think about my sleep, I choose to relax now. Even though I associate sleep with struggle, I am open to releasing this programming. Even though sleep feels like hard work, I choose to release the beliefs I have created. Okay, now we're just going to tap on a sequence of points between the eyebrows. All this stress and tension next to the eyes when I want to sleep under the eyes, all this struggle under the nose around sleeping, under the mouth. I feel so frustrated. Clavicle and anxious on the hand, just lying there between the eyebrows, watching hours passing by. Next to the eyes, worrying about things. Under the eyes, at times I wish, under the nose, that I didn't have to sleep. Under the mouth, all this struggle around sleeping, keep on tapping, all the struggle around sleeping. On the head, I choose to release this conditioning between the eyebrows. I choose to release this anxiety next to the eyes, releasing all this stress and anxiety around sleep. Under the eyes, I release all this tension from my body. Under the nose, I release all this tension from my mind. Under the mouth, I release all this programming and conditioning that sleep 
and struggle are interlinked. On the head, I am writing a new story. Between the eyebrows, that sleep can be easy. Next to the eyes, it's safe for me to let go. Under the eyes, it's safe for me to relax now. Under the nose, it's safe for me to let go. Under the mouth, it's safe for me to relax now. Clavicle, I choose to feel safe. On the head, always. Receive a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, just check in with yourself. So let's imagine you were on a six. Um, just check in with your body and see what's happening. You might feel tingling, you might feel relaxed, you might yawn, you might feel more tired, which is a normal reaction because um, we hold so much stress and then our nervous system becomes so tense and then when we tap, we can relax. And then we actually get in touch with our actual tiredness. It's a bit like going on holiday, right? <laughs> then um, you're on holiday and then you feel how tired you actually are. Okie dokie. Um, so of course, this isn't an interactive moment. It's just a video. But normally now, I would just take your feedback and we talk about it. Alrighty, let's go into the second part, which is tapping for those who have difficulties to fall asleep, right? So generally, these people tend to toss and turn until about one and then fall asleep. So let's tap for you. Again, you can just check in with yourself. Think about going to sleep. Think about this whole like, oh my God, I have to go to sleep again tonight. Uh, this association, which hopefully is already a little bit less. You need to keep on tapping these things, right? I mean, this is not a baguette magic. Uh, I mean, it is a baguette magic, but even that has to be practiced. So um, you need to practice and you need to keep on tapping. I would, I would suggest just tapping these every single evening. Then uh, it will definitely have an effect. Alrighty. So let's start tapping side of the hand. Even though I struggle to fall asleep, I choose to relax now anyhow. Even though I'm dreading to go to bed because I just don't fall asleep quickly, I allow my body and mind to relax now. Even though I feel so much stress and tension around going to sleep. It's safe for me to relax now. Very good. Between the eyebrows, trying to go to sleep next to the eyes stresses me out. Under the eyes, going to sleep under the nose feels like hard work under the mouth. I wish I could outsource it. All this struggle around sleeping on my head around falling asleep. I just feel so tired next to the eyes of being tired. Under the eyes, but perhaps I place too much pressure on myself under the nose to get it right. Under the mouth, I so much want to get it right. Clavicle, I honor all my efforts. On the hand, releasing all this tension from the eyebrows, from my mind, from my body, from my heart. I deserve to rest. I am enough. 
of this. I deserve to rest. And enough. I have done enough. Clavicle. I can't control life. On the head. So I choose to surrender. Between the eyebrows. I choose to trust. Next to the eyes. Releasing any tension and anger. Under the eyes. Releasing all this pressure and anxiety. Under the mouth. I release the need to control. Clavicle outcomes. On the head. And I choose to trust life. Between the eyebrows, I can relax now. I am at peace. I can let go. I am safe. Letting go. Clavicle, I am at peace. I choose to let go. Super. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. I mean, sleeping problem or not, we should be telling ourselves these things on a daily basis, right? How often do, how often are we kind to ourselves? You know, it's a good question. I don't think often enough. So um, maybe that should be our main duty these days, more kindness to ourselves and to one another. We're, we've been tough enough to one another. I mean, Time for a change. Okay. So this round um, is around is for those who wake uh, early in the early morning hours and are still tired. Generally, um, you wake between three and five. Which, by the way, from uh, the perspective of traditional Chinese medicine, uh, means that there might be some grief, uh, there might be some some lingering sadness um, that you want to process. So let's do a little tour on this um, and that will be it on the video front. And then I'll also send you a handout, right? With practical tips. All right. So tapping on the side of the hand. Even though I wake in the middle of the night and just lie there wondering about my life, I choose to relax now. Even though it's so exhausting to keep on waking, it's safe for me to relax now. Even though I've struggled with this for a while, there is no reason that this cannot change. Even though there might be some sadness I choose to be open to feel and address it. Between the eyebrows, waking in the morning, next to the eyes, night after night. Under the eyes, makes me so tired. Under the nose, there's been so much. Under the mouth going on in my life Clavicle. and on this entire planet. On my head, how can one not be stressed out in the present time and age? Next to the eyes. But I choose to feel safe now. Under the eyes, my breath is slowing down. Under the nose, my heartbeat is slowing down. Under the mouth, I release all remaining tension. Clavicle, I am open to feel into my inner world. 
on the head. Perhaps there is something I want to heal. Between the eyebrows. Perhaps there's something I want to release. Next to the eyes. Releasing all emotions under the eyes. I allow myself to feel them under the nose. I allow myself to feel under the mouth. I choose to forgive life. Clavicle. I choose to forgive myself. On the head. For everything that I couldn't make work. Between the eyebrows. I surrender to the process of life. Next to the eyes. I release all resistance under the eyes to fully feel under the nose and to open my heart to my feelings under the mouth. I am safe. Clavicle, I can sleep. On the head, my body deserves to rest between the eyebrows all night. I am next to the eyes. I am open for deep sleep. Under the eyes, I am at peace. Under the nose, I am open for deep and lasting sleep. Under the mouth, I am safe. Clavicle, I am safe. On the head, here and now. Okay. Receive a deep breath in and breathe out. So just check in with yourself um, and compare. So let's say you were in the six when we started this video and just check in how you feel now. Um, hopefully the number has shifted and go down, gone down. Hopefully you're more in touch with your emotions, with your present state of being. So um, yeah, I hope this could help you. Just to let you know on the, what is it? 16th of June, um, I will give another sleep conference for which you can register via my website, irenenolte.com. It's free of charge, so you can just join in. I do these quite often, about once every six weeks, which are just general get-togethers and where each time we tap on a different subject, uh, you can remain completely incognito, camera off and um, mic off. So you can just drop in and attend if you find it helpful. For the rest, I will put some info into the handout that you should receive. And um, yeah, you can also contact me, of course, for personal coaching. I'm available in person and online. Otherwise, I just wish you a beautiful summer. Uh, I wish you deep, deep sleep. And yeah, speak to you soon. Bye.